Today I'm going to show you how to install clear universal door cup protectors. Um, I like these two patterns the best. I find that these fit the majority of all the cars out there. Um, this one would be used for more of a curved installation. It has these little relief cuts for this 2010 Ford F-150 today we've chosen this one. It's going to give us the most coverage and uh, be the easiest to install. You don't need much for this install. A few tools, uh, paper towels, uh, isopropyl alcohol and water mix 75% water with 25% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, may need a pair of scissors, may not depending on your vehicle and may or may not need a heat gun. Heat gun helps if it's a warm day, you won't need it. Um, a hair dryer will work as well. Um, this is the pattern I'm gonna install on this F-150. The first thing we need to do is clean the vehicle where we're gonna put the product. I'm gonna grab my isopropyl alcohol and water mixture, spray it inside the door cup. Um, these are becoming pretty common. Uh, on vehicles like this where you have a painted door cup, fingernails, wedding rings, and such will scratch in there. Um, I'm going to take the paper towel. If you need to pull out on the handle, that will help you get in there a little better. Rotate to a clean spot. Every time you take the towel off the vehicle and put it back on, find a clean spot. Whatever dirt you wiped off the first time, if you don't rotate it, you'll just be putting it right back on. Clean even outside a little bit further where you're not putting the door cup material. Uh, when you spray it, dust and dirt can run down to where you are working. So a clean area around the install uh, is helpful as well. I'm going to look and just make sure I didn't miss anything in there. Um, looks clean. I'm going to grab my uh, ice probe alcohol and water solution. I'm going to spray inside the door cup. You can use as much of this as you want. You can, you can spray a bunch. Um, the wetter the better really. You want to make sure you don't have any dry spots. Grab your universal door cup pattern. I would recommend an 8 mil product. Um, uh, there's a lot of 6 mil out there. There's some thick stuff. Uh, it's going to be hard to use in here. Um, an 8 mil is what I found works the best. Uh, Self-healing, if you can find it. Um, if it gets scratches in it, you can warm it up with a heat gun and the scratches, majority of them will come out of the product. Uh, Self-healing 8 mil. Um, first thing you want to do is pull the backing off. Spray the material generously. It goes on like this. You take this in here, position it. It's going to be a little tacky. Once you stick it on, you're not going to be able to move it around much. So the first part of the pattern that you stick to the vehicle, you want to line that up and make sure it's where you want it. Okay, if that's the case, go ahead and lay it in there. Um, what I like to do is take my thumb and everything's from the center out. If you work from the center out, take your thumb and use it to push the moisture out. Maybe go down through the middle and up through the middle. That quarters the pattern and allows you to equally disperse the stretch from the center out. Um, where you get to these curves, that'll, that'll help you out. Take your thumb from the center out. Now Pressing the moisture out of your pattern, the quarters that you've created. Just press slow. Um, you don't need to press too hard. Make sure you're pressing hard enough to push the moisture out. You can just use your thumb. Uh, some people like to use a uh, little, I'd recommend a two inch rubber squeegee like this one. Um, it's not needed. Um, 
Some people, depending on how well they use their hands, may need one of these. Um, you can just push that in there. Fit it in there. Use this finger to push it up. And you can use this to work out the moisture in the corners if needed. I would then take paper towel, clean your door cup in the pattern, clean out around it. Take a good look at it, see if you missed anything, how you like the fit. Uh, that one fits perfect and has now covered the majority, what I would say is about 90% of the painted area on the inside of this door cover. Um, if, if there's a couple, you get a couple scratches in there, you can warm that up with a heat gun. If you have self-healing product, the scratches will come out and you've now protected that from looking pretty rugged in a few years.